Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be taking a look at Govi's TV Backlight T2. Details are in the description below including purchasing links. So this is one of Govi's latest products that gives a more immersive viewing experience when you're gaming, watching movies or TV shows. Govi is the first brand to create a patented color match technology with a camera and with this new upgraded dual lens camera featuring their N-Visual technology which uses a zone division capture method to capture the color changes on the screen and replicate it to its RGB IC patented lighting technology. They've also upgraded their LED strip light which has more IC chips per meter allowing you to have multiple colors and effects displayed on one segment. So I'll show you how to install this, set up the app and the settings to use to get the best immersive experience together with testing out the performance and I'll take you through what's changed from their previous TV backlights together with any pros and cons. But before I begin if you're new to your channel hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release. Let's briefly run through what you get in the packaging and just to note I received an early model for testing and review purposes hence the white box. So in the packaging you'll get a dual lens camera it measures 15 centimeters across and 4 centimeters wide at the widest point. The camera area is 7 centimeters wide and it has a type C connector on the back. It's spring loaded with a really good build quality. You also get a controller box which has a 3M sticky pad on the rear allowing you to stick it onto the back of your TV. There's some orange sticky pads used for calibration purposes. There's two alcohol prep pads, a bag containing clips, a cable with a USB type C connector on both ends, a power adapter with a DC connector, a user manual, a card with Govi's details and the RGB IC LED strip light which has a type C connector. The LED strip has a good build quality with a waterproof cover on there and you've got a 3M sticky pad at the back and there's flexible cables at each of the corners for ease of installation. There's two size options available for the TV backlight. There's a 55 to 65 inch and a 75 to 85 inch version. I've got the latter option and will be installing it on my LG QNED 75 inch mini LED TV. The installation process is quite simple. First wipe down the area at the back of the TV where the LED strip will be stuck on. Then clean with the alcohol prep pads ensuring you clean all the way around the TV. There's three different starting positions you can install the LED strip. I'm starting on the bottom right hand side of the TV and all you have to do is remove the tape from the 3M sticky pad. Stick the LED strip light moving upwards in a straight line until you reach the top right corner. You'll reach the flexible cable part of the strip light and you just loop that to stop it from sticking out. And then do the same on the other three remaining sides. And once the LED is stuck on it will look something like this. Next connect up the controller box then mount the camera on top of the TV at the center point making sure it's perpendicular to the TV and the bottom of the camera is close to the back of the TV. Now you can power this up and even without setting this up from the app you can still control it standalone with some basic functionality via the control box which has an on off button, color selection button and the final button doubles up as both a music sync and dimmer button. Now adding this to Govi's app is really easy Starting up the Govi app, click the plus icon in the corner under LED strip light, search for H605C, then making sure you have Bluetooth turned on, it automatically picks up the device. Press the power button on the control box to pair it and click done. Then we can move on to the calibration, select the strip light direction. Now it's asking to stick some foam pads that can assist with calibration. You don't have to do this. Now drag the points to each of the locations where the foam pads would have been stuck on and that's it, you're done. The Govi app has all the same functionality as with the previous TV backlights like the dream view option, effects lab, timer, brightness adjustment, modes with the addition of the snapshot list allowing you to activate with tap to run, auto run or even control them with both the Amazon and Google voice control devices. Taking a look at the modes, you have music mode, color gives segmented control, scenes has a selection of predefined scenes, DIY gives you the ability to create your own scenes and finally we have video mode which has two modes of operation. Game mode which is more responsive to changes on the screen and movie mode which changes at a slower rate to give a less flickery effect. To get the best immersive experience you'd want to set the saturation level to around 50% and adjust the white balance using a pure white image displayed on the screen. But just to note the LED strip is RGB and not RGBW so the white given off may not be the purest. Then there's part and all. Part displays multiple colors on the LED strip whereas all will only display a single color at a time. Turning on the sound effects option will allow the LED strip 
to not only work in conjunction with the changes on the screen, but also with any sounds in the room and react to that. Quite cool when watching a music video, but personally I feel it's best to turn this off when gaming or watching a movie. There's a lot of functionality available in the app, which is really impressive. Let's test this out, but just to note, if you had any lights close to the TV or the surface of your TV unit had a glossy finish, it may impact the quality of the colors. So in my case, I've covered my TV unit. Now testing this out with a color wheel, brightness levels are set to 100%. And as you can see, color representation is really good and it does a great job matching the colors with minimal lag. This is all made possible due to the 180 degree ultra wide lens that's capable of full coverage of the entire screen. And using the Envisual technology, it divides the screen into multiple zones, mapping to reflect the location of every division to the backlight. The camera uses an algorithm to ensure the backlight matches the screen and then adjusts it according to the different types of content, delivering the specific lighting effects for every content. Moving on to the color smoke effects traveling across the screen, the camera does a great job replicating the colors and even the lighting remains dim in the dark regions. On to movies and with the letterbox effect, it doesn't reduce the lighting and it still works really well as you can see. And as a viewing experience when watching movies, or TV shows, having the colors expand beyond the screen gives a great immersive viewing experience. There's a good amount of coverage on the wall from the LED lights, giving a great immersive experience, and it also helps to reduce eye strain. Now let's test out the difference between both movie and game mode. Viewing both side by side, playing the same footage, you can see in movie mode, the response is slightly slower with a lag to the color transitions, but the transitions between the colors is smoother, whereas the game mode, the transitions are faster with at times a slight flicker to it. In terms of which is better, personally I prefer the game mode with its faster transitions. And now onto gaming, and I've played a number of different games to test out the performance of how well the camera translates to the LED strip light. So playing Gran Turismo 7, which is a racing game, and FPS games like Apex Legends, Call of Duty, plus RPG games like Stray, which is set in quite a dark environment, together with Fortnite and Astro's Playroom, which are both set in quite a colorful environment. And the camera does really really well to keep up with a fast action on the screen and translating it back to the LED strip light. It even works well in dead zones and that's where the light levels are low or dimmer than the rest of the screen. So as you notice on the screen, it dims down the lighting in those areas. Govis and Visual is the first and currently the only technology that uses an exclusive scenes color match scheme based on the zone division capture method. And what it does is focus on the middle zones when playing FPS games and can change to match the colors along the track when playing racing games. It does a really good job transitioning between the colors but in really fast action, you may notice a subtle lag as it attempts to keep up. But this really isn't a deal breaker in any way. And I'll let this run through for a bit so you can see for yourself. Now as a side-by-side -side comparison with the previous model, which is the T1, let's initially take a look at the cameras. You can see the T2 is much bigger in size and heavier with a better build quality. The T1 has only one lens capturing 171,000 pixel dots every half second, whereas the T2 has two cameras that can capture 345,000 pixel dots on every lens, working on separate sides of the screen, increasing the number of pixel dots it can manage. The T2 works with a gravity balance design, unlike the T1, which needed to be stuck to the screen. But with the T1, you could stick this at the bottom of the screen, so it's out of the way. Something that's not possible with the newer T2. Onto the RGB IC LED backlight, which has more IC chips displaying multiple colors on the same strip simultaneously with independently controlled LEDs. The lights are brighter and expands further on the wall and into the room, giving a more immersive experience than the previous LED backlights. And with N-Visual technology, the color matching from the camera to the LED backlights is more precise, giving a 40% accuracy upgrade on the previous model, together with better performance on dead zones, which are darker regions of the screen. And showing a side-by-side -side comparison, you can see the improvement in color reproduction for yourself. I'll let this run through for a bit so you can see for yourself. Now, if you compare the T2 with the Philips Hue SyncBox or LightMe's Neo, which are both dependent on a signal from a HDMI source, so you'd have to plug in a device like a satellite receiver, cable TV receiver, or gaming console. But with the newer consoles, 120 hertz isn't supported as they're both restricted to 60 hertz at 4K. But if you had a smart TV, that also wouldn't work with them either 
Whereas with Govi, there's no limitation. It will work with anything appearing on the screen. And if you're wondering if the TV backlights can interact with other Govi lights, well, it can with many of their newer devices and it's dependent on the hardware version. And this is made possible using the Sync Center option on the app to give an even more immersive viewing experience. So in summary, Govi's done an excellent job with their latest TV backlight with a new upgraded dual lens camera featuring their N visual technology, which uses the zone division capture method to capture the color changes on the screen and replicate it to its RGBIC patented lighting technology. Positives wise, the system does a great job in providing a more immersive viewing experience with good color representation beyond the screen onto the surrounding walls. It's a generic solution that works with whatever is being displayed on the screen and doesn't rely on a HDMI source or restrict your refresh rate in any way. Plus, if you had a smart TV, you can use any of the inbuilt streaming apps and it will work fine. Negatives wise, on the fast action, you will notice a slight delay in the colors changing as it's using a camera based solution. If there's a lot of light in the room or your TV unit has a glossy surface, this will impact the colors being produced. Hence why I had to cover my TV unit and there's no way of attaching the camera to the bottom of your TV like on the previous models. But nevertheless, Govi's TV Backlight T2 does an amazing job at giving you a more immersive viewing experience with no restrictions. So there you have it. You made it to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. And if you're still here, drop a Govi T2 in the comments as it's nice to see who's made it to the end of my video. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.